Thank you, Pastor Muria. Pastor Muria, two years is a sevo. A life that is blameless is wonderful, but you know life that is blameless until that life is under the blood of Jesus. Because even if you may not be a conscious of any offense. You may not be conscious of any offense against, against the Lord. But you see, uh, if you are able to blame people who have done wrong, you are already guilty in the sight of God of your old because, as I said yesterday, the other day we discussed, oh, it was yesterday, yesterday. that we discussed the idea of uh, when you have, when you are seeking equity from a, for in a court of law, you should yourself be with clean hands. Amen? Amen. And when um, you go to court to, for example, accuse somebody of murder or something else, you the person accusing must be there must be a record. Amen. That record is saying nothing about things in the past. Amen. You should know that uh, the sins which Jesus has forgiven you are no longer you're no longer guilty of them. But if you go and accuse somebody of those sins that you used to commit, Amen. the blood of Jesus is removed. So that you now are, because it's the only Jesus who took them away. If it wasn't for him, you would never be forgiven by the law. Amen? Amen. Amen. Have you understood? Amen. Because you cannot take them away. You cannot go to Jesus and say, I'm accusing him of this sin. I'm accusing him of that sin. Because you are guilty of those sins unless Jesus has saved you. Amen. 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 That's why here at the Mirembe Fellowship, Fellowship, it doesn't matter whether we know that somebody is wrong or not, we don't talk about it. Amen. We are colorblind. And we don't even blame those who talk about other people's sins. We don't. Mm -hmm. Because we also used to do the same before. <laughs> and Jesus saved us from them. Amen. Amen. How many of you have understood me? This week, as I told you, I requested you to come here and uh, be speaking something. Uh, and uh, first, and uh, first, it's Pastor Maria who um, uh, 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 was inspired to tell me that we will fast this week. And then, on, and then on a Sunday morning, I asked the Lord to give me what to say, and he gave me a little bit of a nap, and in a nap he told me to speak 
about what God hates. Amen? 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 So God talked to me two times. He talked to me through Pastor Muria. And then by himself also. Then I spoke to you about it. You are blessed because you came. Pray the Lord. Amen. The power of God is here. Tell everybody to cover the whole place during the week. Tell everyone to come. Because uh, it's going to be very important for them to hear this. Amen. Pray the Lord. That's why Jesus said. Whoever has not sinned, let him, let him throw the first stone at her. He said that with a lot of fury. Amen. 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 Because he alone was the only way. The truth and the life. If they had rejected him, they were sinners. Because no one is, uh, I mean, uh, has fulfilled, has done well in the sight of God. Before God, we are all wicked. And we, we deserve to go to hell. So, don't blame that sinner. Bring, bring him back to God. Hallelujah! Amen. Bring him back to God. I will not see any preacher here in the Adamic Fellowship speaking against another church. If I, see them, if I see such a preacher, no matter how big he will be, I will lock him in, in my dog house. <laughs> in Daniel's den. Daniel is the only one who has found blameless. Amen. Pray the Lord. See, um, when I'm talking about um, 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 that when God says, I hate something, and that's terrible. He says to, to love our enemies, but not to hate them. Amen. Uh, you see, we don't hate our mother, our father, we love them. We should only hate what Jesus hates. Have you understood? Hate what Jesus hates. Don't hate the sinner because Jesus does not hate him. Amen. He loves him. We must learn how to hate what Jesus hates. To develop a pattern in life in which we desist, decisively reject whatever would harm us. Spiritually. Or reject whatever is antithetical to God, whatever is against God. That's what we should do. And love is the opposite of hatred. As goodness and righteousness. And the opposite of evil. And wickedness. And wickedness. Uh, no, no, we'll be 
marriage. No, we. In love, we give to one another. In hate, we deny them what we are given. You, you pray. But if there's something that you're doing which God, Jesus hates, then he hates you. When he hates you, you're going to see a sign. If he loved you, everything will be easy. But when his love has been taken away from you, what follows? You don't give to somebody you hate. Do you? Do you I do sometimes. Professor, you Because I'm responsible to so many people that even if they don't like me, I give them. Like Musei, like Musei Kamoga. <laughs> Since this morning, he doesn't like me. But he brought, brought me a cup of tea. Why, why did you do that? Why do you hate me? He didn't say good morning to me. I don't know what he hates me for. <laughs> But you know what, what, what I will tell you? If you want to take away from yourself the love of God, take your, you go on hating, hating people. Amen? Amen. That's why God tells us to love our enemies. What is the reason? So that he may love us. Some of the people who are your enemies are his friends. There are lots of people who think that I'm a bad man. And then when they say those things, and they accuse me of things and pray against me, I laugh. It is like reporting uh, to a monkey about the forest. <laughs> accusing, the man accusing to the monkey, before the monkey, about how the forest is bad. Do you expect the monkey to, 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 to listen to you? Amen? Amen. Because the monkey loves the forest. Amen. Amen. And will protect the forest from being burnt. How many of you want to be that forest? That is being accused before the judge, the monkey. <laughs> I want you to seek every day to be a friend of Jesus by loving that which he loves. Amen? Amen. Amen. The sample will take a long time. They go through prayer mountains and, and fasting of 40 days and to be, to be answered by God. And he still keeps quiet because there's something that you're not doing right. You're doing what he hates. Do you follow me? Pray the Lord. So, his disciples were to love the enemies. Because among those enemies, there are some people that Jesus loves. Tell your neighbor. 
Timuvala bebo, muri mu yesu ba ya galanga mikwano jia e. Mugame timuvala bebo, muri mu mikwano jia yesu. Kati toki ni zikuwa kubatia wa o inaba galabwa gazi kubanga ni yesu abagala. So since my ministry began, people have been cursing me. The prayer, the cast prayer doesn't work for one reason. I'm his friend. Amen. Amen. And they end up in, they end up in trouble. Amen. Pray the Lord. Pray the Lord. Some people accuse me of not praying for, for too long. Yet those few words I speak work. Amen. Amen. Pray the Lord. Amen. How many of you understand me? So when I started this church, some people began to see miracles happening in this country. They began to say, those are the ones who are talked about to be happening at the end of the world. False <laughs> One of them has dropped down. Now we are in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> they were very happy to always tell lies to their congregations about it. Amen? They were protecting congregations. Me, I'm protecting Jesus. Amen? <laughs> Amen. 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 Pray the Lord. Amen. The Lord tells us that we should also hate our lives. Mm-hmm. And our sisters and brothers and children. Can you open a look 14 verse 26? Esther, oh no, Jessica, why do you say for the six? Jessica, you are for the six. If anyone comes to me and does not hate his father and mother, wife and children, Brothers and sisters, yes, and his own life also. He cannot be my disciple. Nti singa waba wa mtu yena, atasewa la kuchawa tata we, atasewa la kuchawa mama we, mchala we, muganda we, abana we. Ogula mwe, atasewa la kubera muigirizwa wandi. See. Jesus told people, I want you to see how terrible this is. He told us to hate father and mother. That means you don't have to say, I've got to remain in the religion of my father. But yes, Amen. Or culture. See, it's just like getting married. You get to hate everyone else apart from your husband. Amen? And your wife. That is exactly a true about you these days. Everyone doesn't care so much about us anymore. It's about... <laughs> <laughs> the trouble we have. Don't love other people. Love Jesus. That is, He is our bridegroom. Amen. Amen. 
That's why I asked him to come and interpret for me. It is very important for you to see in that kind of context like what, what hate is. You know, can you imagine somebody that you have so much love for, like a father and a mother and a brother? And also uh, your sisters and uh, and uh, and your own life. But as baffling as that may seem, we've got to come to terms with what uh, this tells us about Jesus. Amen? And what means what that means for our own lives. Sometimes uh, you have got to, to not love your money. Amen? Amen? When God loves, God needs it. There's somebody who called me some time back and asked me, how many of you are my Kanyuanis here? Yeah, I, I, I want to go to bless you. Uh, you may hate yourself and love God. Amen? Somebody invited me uh, to go and see him. And he said to me sometime back, but not so far away back, he said to me uh, he wanted to. Uh, to give what he had to God. About maybe two months ago, and he brought me, when I went to his place, I, I went with nothing, no bag in my hand. I didn't know that. I thought he was going to give me like 20,000 shillings. Or maybe 10,000 shillings. He gave me money that shows that he hates himself. <laughs> and he loves Jesus more. Tell your neighbor that. So that I may be able to run the affairs of the university and the church. Amen. 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 Of course, I needed much more than that, but that amazed me so much. I told him I don't want to sit near you. I've got a, f I, I've got a f flu. I don't want to, to, put, to infect you. I said, I don't care. He said, I don't care about my life. I love Jesus. That amazed me. And then he, brought, he gave me 40, 40, what was it? 40 million shillings. No, no, 40 million. Anna. Anna. I looked at him. He was an old man. And, and I said, what's happening? <laughs> then I said, where, how can I carry this man? So he gave me a bag and I carried it. And I went with it into my car. And then I began to do the things I needed to do. The things in the house of God are so many that sometimes you've got to hate your sister, your brother, your own child. You don't have to pay school fees for them so that you may serve Jesus. Amen? Amen? How many of you have understood what I've said? One day I was in town. A certain man stopped me and said he didn't have a man, any, any car to do his uh, national work. In a politician. He told you, give me your car. <laughs> and I had to hate myself. He was a Muslim and that caused him to die a Christian. I gave him the keys. And I gave him the car. 
And I told him, but let me, let me at least go back home. <laughs> and he, told, he, he gave me one hour with it. He gave... so, so I returned it in an hour. And then, then I walked back home. Here. I hated my car. Because I wanted him to get saved. Some of you look at me as a fool. Some of you are singing Bugembe's song, La Bembata. <laughs> My more wife don't complain. She knows we've got to hate our things. Because when you're going to heaven, you leave everything. Amen? Amen? Amen. Even to hate the congregation. I, left, I was leaving you behind the other day. Another thing that Jesus hates is evil. And uh, primary truth for us for understanding this is that God hates evil. If we really rightly understand that the cross defined the central purpose of Jesus after ministry, then we also rightly understand that Jesus came to defeat something. God came to defeat the very wickedness that had held humanity in grip since Adam's tragic fall. Amen. He came to defeat. When you go to war, you don't defeat your friend, you defeat your enemy. Amen. Amen. So he hates evil. The wickedness that brought this tragic fall of Adam. Adam, whom he had created out of love and made him in his own image. Amen. Let me tell you, when people come to me and tell me they're sick, I remember the 39 lashes on the back of Jesus using a strap that had thorns on it. That was terrible. That was terrible. By his stripes were healed. God hates your diseases. He would rather be beaten like that rather than allowing you to be sick. Be with that in your mind. Jesus loves me so much that he does want me to die. Tell your neighbor that. Jesus loves me. And he gave his own body and he gave his own blood that sin may be washed away yeah, from him. No Amen? He came to overcome the wickedness of sin. Yeah. Wickedness of sin. Pray the Lord. Pray the Lord. Amen. Pray the Lord. Amen. You see, I can see some nations in the world that are planning every day to oppress African people. And they want to remove from their, themselves the conscience that Jesus will blame them. They're trying to be kind of like intellectual, whatever, light, uh, rather people of the light, the 
they, they got light in their mind. They, they, are, they are intelligent. That they would rather that evil should not be, should, should not be mentioned together with Jesus. Amen. 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 You know what they, what they mean? That they got to remove the name of God, but remain recognizing that evil is evil and should be removed from the world. That maybe parents should teach their children not to do evil. The police were right, were work hard and remove evil from society. The things the police cannot remove them from people except if Jesus removes them from the heart. Amen. 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 If a society begins to exist where there's no fear of God and understanding that God lives, it means that they will not fear anyone. You know, they will be like gods. When God, when God is angry or has done something, <laughs> so when God is, he, he is uh, for example, he's angry with you, he's okay. His righteousness is holy. Amen? Amen? His sin, sorry. His, you know, what, what you call uh, annoying is sin. For his punishment to, to you is holy. Amen? Because there's no judge about him, above him. If in the country there's no court and no police, no judge, there's no sin, there's no offense, there's no crime. Now with God in heaven, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, there's no one above him that somebody may say, well, he, he has done something wrong. So wrong, who has judged, who has judged that is wrong, amen? So, you can hate you with a revulsion of righteousness. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I mean, of Sung of Tokivu. As well, of Kuchawa no Sung of Tokivu. As well, of Quetama no Quetama of Tokivu. Eh? Amen. Amen. Have you understood? Amen. So God can hate those people. You know, Jesus came to defeat that sin that, that had held humanity in his grip since Adam's tragic fall. Jesus came as God's promised messianic deliverer. And what motivated him was his love of righteousness. And his hate to the wickedness. Can you read Hebrews 1 and verse 8? His hatred of wickedness. 8 and 9. Are you listening to me? 
Um, one of the things I said, don't hate people. Just because they are enemies, uh, some of your enemies uh, are God's friends. Who understands that point? Some of them you hate. In the Catholic Church or Protestant Church. That's the Adventist Church. Because a preacher stood before you and told you to hate people. And then he quoted scriptures and said you should not stand in the darkness with you shouldn't be of the light and be in darkness as well. Amen? Amen. He keeps on telling you those things. But maybe the person you think is in darkness is not. Amen? Amen. Jesus is standing with him and give him light. Amen? Praise the Lord. Amen. Those things are so many everywhere. And uh, you should be sure that you will not hate anyone, nor talk badly about them. I know that uh, the Pope has supported, in a way, he has supported uh, homosexuality, but I don't hate him, I sympathize with him. But I'll just pray for him that before he dies, he may gain understanding. Amen. Amen. That's what we should do. But not hate. Amen. I don't know if you agree with me. Yeah. So I don't uh, take my tra any trouble preaching, preaching, preaching. Kind of way. Simeon he preaches these kinds of things to his friends. Simeon, I Don't do that. Learn from today. <laughs> Pray the Lord. Amen. When I go to my office, I hear Simeon speaking against some, some people like the Pope and the Archbishop of Canterbury. We speak about your past. Because your past was also bad. Amen. 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 Mugo, oh, don't cheat them. I've been planning a move in your room, Nana. Naya Kumwana, Kone Kumwana, are you guaranteed? Ain't ever you, I catonda, Yaluvera, Emilembe name in him. No Mugo, or Wogo Lokof, Gwe Mugo, or Goba Kavakabu. The Lord will try, may even punish you for not loving. Catonda, a Jacobon is all over Tayagala. Amen? Amen. Because that is the symbol of his kingdom. Amen? 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 Amen. So Paul writes, love must be sincere. Hate what is evil. Cling to what is good. Psalm 12, 12 and verse 9. So don't choose what to hate. Uh, hatred is therefore not habitually. You don't just say, maybe these ones are... Let me categorize these people as people I hate. Don't do that. So, uh, because all your hatred should be directed toward evil and wickedness. Amen. 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 Not people. I'm removing things from you, am I not? 
many of you in the movie things from you? Yeah. See, so, you see, you should look at God's perspective of hate and love. Amen? That's what you should follow. Tell them to do that. To say that. Yes. Now, there is a scripture in the Bible that says, Love your enemies. Love your enemies. That's why yesterday I told you sincerely I hate homosexuality. Because I know God hates it. Amen? 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 If, if, if Europeans may come here and tell me love homosexuality, I will never do so. Because I know the Lord told us even not to love the world. Amen? The world may not set standards for us. I want you to tell your neighbor. Mutari Kundensi. How do you say? Mutari Kundensi. Tell your neighbor, Mutari Kundachi. Jesus hates the, wo- the world. Mutari Kunda what? I think I read somewhere. Don't love the what? Praise the Lord. Amen. That doesn't mean that you should not enjoy uh, Coca Cola and ice cream. All those things go and eat them. But don't be obsessed with them. Amen? So that they may change your character. Amen? Let your mother and father not change your character. Let your mother, let your children not change your character. Don't be obsessed with them. Amen? Amen. Don't get that personality disorder. Amen? Because you love your father, you love your mother so much. So now you don't care. Your character doesn't have to be one of a child of God. Amen? I want to be, uh, God tells me to leave, to leave this place, but if you truly love Jesus, our greatest ambition must center on becoming like him. Amen? Amen. He, the, he, he sense of goodness. Don't say I'm a friend of Jesus unless your whole purpose in life is to be like him. Tell your neighbor that. Write it down. Amen. Amen. So, we will, we will nurture our healthy uh, conscience that is repulsed by our own, t- t- our own tendencies to blur the line between God, good and evil. keep on rubbing out, blurring out. Something that re- makes it, uh, makes your, what you call good, you know, evil in the sight of God. Amen? Rub it out. Gossiping, for example. You see, somebody passes you by and when they are in the distance, one of you begins to laugh. <laughs> He walks like this. <laughs> Cut it. And then that all of you begin to laugh. Come on, stop doing those things. 
<laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. So, you should hate the world. Jesus hates the world system. Write down. The way the system of the world works, the way your tribe works, the way your, your community works, the way your group works, when, when we are in primary school, uh, I was in a choir, and in, in Gomban, we went, well, our choir was very good, and we went to Mitala Malia where there was a festival, our competition of choirs from different schools. And then the people from Camping primary school, primary school. They, they were all boys and they came and sang and when uh, the tenor became strong the, the, the sopranos turned into tenor and then the song remained without tenor and the song the song was, was like a car without a, a steering and <laughs> it was going sideways and, and it sang before the judges and it sang before the judges Abasajja be Congo, Babo na bono romusa jo moviri ji. What is the soprano? <laughs> they all went into tenor. Bona ne bayi bila mto bosi lima ya tenor. This was saying, Abasajja be Congo, Babo na bono romusa jo moviri ji. All of them, Abasajja be Congo, Babo na bono romusa. And even the bassers. Went to the tenor. I could not help laughing. I laughed. I laughed. The right thing, the right thing should have been for me to go there and tell them, don't do that again. <laughs> Sometimes things happen in the world and you must laugh. Some people have been laughing against a true miracle that God performed for Nakasuja. They are putting a curse on themselves. And it will be very difficult for that curse to be removed from them. For some of them, their children will die. And their grandchildren will die young. And Jesus will not bother to, to raise them or to help them. No matter how much they pray. Because they use TikTok to mock God. Amen? That is the world system. TikTok is the present most popular, one of the most popular world system things. You joke stupidly, it doesn't matter whether it's true or not. Amen. Amen. Jesus hates the world system. But he doesn't hate the world. No, he, 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 not the world, although God so loved. The, the God loved the world, but he hates the world system. Tell your neighbor. Tell your neighbor that. He hates the world system. But he hates, he loves the world. He I don't know whether somebody can explain that before we go. Naye system we see, katika tonda yeye na firira nsi. Naye cha cha wa yeye system we see, system we see yeye kula yeye bintu ebiri monsi. Ugezanti gwe gwe nga gwe akwanga na ori monsi. Ira gwe waliyo kudena yeye na firira na yeye chibi chibi monsi nengeri yeye bintu yeye tambula mo eche chibi cha kujia katonda. Jesus 
I was sitting mm -hmm. with Jessica in one of my little offices there, and we're talking, and I saw Jesus pass by. And then elevating and going to kind of Europe. Europe. That was about, I think it was the end of the year, the year or something like that. And then, uh, and then I, I, he left a message to my mind that he had gone to fight there. Hmm? And then I said, what is it now? But he came, but he revealed it to me on that 31st of January that he had angels and was going to place them in a place where they were going to be fighting. I'm, I'm told that uh, there are some uh, homosexuals that are trying to organize a meeting or is a, a demonstration here in this country. You know, they got smelling bugs. They want to continue living that way. Are they right? Can you imagine that? The government will decide what to do. Amen? But, but you see, those people have got those festivals in uh, Turkey, so many of those festivals, and they have abolished the church because the church is against homosexuality. Those, the lady who came here to get married to a white person, remember, he told me that those stories. The world is like that now. Then on 31st in the evening, at night, at night, he told me to speak what I saw happening to the country that he was going to be punishing that place. And people were, you know, parts of the earth were going to open up and people were going to be falling in. And 56,000 people fell into I mean, the open holes, you know, that, including their houses. This country, something minor has happened too in, at Kasese. And then houses failing also. I think a house, at least, with everything. Nothing remained. They can't get anything from there. So I want you to know that Jesus can hate something. Amen? I'm going to pray for you to be friends of God. Amen? When I say he hates something, this looks contradictory. But it points out an important fact. The Lord create only earth. Or the world. He also created order in the world. Amen? Amen. That's why there are scriptures. The scriptures are there so that there may be that kind of order that he had an intention to create the world to live, to live by. That order, you cannot begin to say now, I want my eyes to be at the back of my head. You will confuse us because we will make a, a special chair for you. That will turn, turn you back. We, we, we turn your face to the back and then the, the back to the front. I mean, you see what I'm preaching? That's what you want. What you want is not what is right. What is written, what has been planned by God, 
is what is going to happen. That is his order. Amen. Amen. We are not going to love the world system and its orders. Amen. 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 I'm so happy that uh, this education now, there's nothing that people can ever say that we don't understand. Some people have been trying to say there's a variant of people, a variant of people who are homosexual. There's no, no such people who are homosexuals by nature. Some doctors of psychology have said somewhere that is not acceptable. You you see, there's no one born to be, to be using another part of the way. There's only one right way. Either here or here, but one only. Amen. Amen. Have you understood? So I want to end up by telling you, if you want God to love you, hate what he hates. And love what he loves. And don't let... Don't make preachers struggle over you to try and love. If you love Jesus, that's enough for you to do what he wants. Amen. Amen. I have never been led to Christ by any human being. It's only Jesus who spoke yes. to me. Yeah. And I've been following him. And therefore, hating what he hates, and loving what he loves. We have got to stop here. But tomorrow, make sure that everybody is here because I've got a lot. The whole week, I'm going to be speaking except on Saturday. Except on Saturday. And maybe I can also speak next week except on the wedding. Right? God bless you very much indeed. Uh, if you, 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 you may...